Because there was a bus, the speed should stay at about 40, 45 kilometers, and that's what we achieved. I could have made it lower with 30, but that's a choice. For public transport reasons, we didn't. And we haven't had any accident at all, not even a minor one since four or five years already there. So actually, I think it works quite well. And these are much more dangerous places, even though they are well organized with all the signs and rubbish. And in the future I hope to remove it all, but... Well, this was a road that was being planned for in the future. There should be very big living areas and we never build it. So there was a road that was extremely wide and it's hardly, hardly possible that the road tell any story. But then the new living area was being built on the other side as well. I want a crossing that links the two living areas as one space. And that you feel part of both areas when you cross. And I first didn't want any sign in the middle, just a lighting pole. But police again wanted signs and well there was already so many discussions about this sign, so okay, fine with me. Because in my opinion it was allowed to go left or right, whatever you wanted. Mm. But no priority rules on this roundabout. Okay. You can do whatever you want. If I want to stop and make a chat, well, I'll do so. <laughs> there was a later on discussion about the bus stop. If it was possible to make a bus stop on this square, like yeah, yeah. the car the in San Francisco, the, right. the trolley car? street car. Yeah, street cars. I would have left it, but public transport didn't want to stop on this crossing. But I would have left it to make a bus stop in the middle of the crossing. Right. You see, it doesn't matter at all. The they cars are just going by. No big deal. So what's the problem? I wouldn't know. They were a little bit puzzled. Okay. Right. Fine with me. Right. But nothing happens. I only thought that bringing in all the cyclists in this little war, uh, it's a bit might get complaints. And so you have a cycle I, lane on the outside. That's why I made a little cycle lane outside. Right. And well, this is something different. There was a new living area that had to be built, and I always hate it when in the living area you have to organize behavior. That's not my responsibility. I made the streets, giving you all the information you need in behaving as a good citizen. And how do you behave? I don't care. It's your living area, it's not my responsibility. So, this is a rather straightforward street. Normally spoken, in my profession, I would have curved it around, avoiding people to speed. But in spatial quality, that's horrible. Because there's no organization of speed, you don't know where you are, of, of place, you don't know where you are. So, I accepted that on this street, maybe the speed is a little bit high. And when they complain, I say, well, okay, it's your own street. It are your children. And up till now it works quite well. We don't see much speeding over here. Mm -hmm. and they accept for instance I'm driving over 30 kilometers. People accept it. This one doesn't. <laughs> but it are their own neighbors, their own children. So why should I interfere in their behavior? Because I think the street is absolutely honestly telling you anything you need to know. But, on the other hand, I accept it, it's a little bit anonymous. You don't have the feeling that each moment someone drops in front of your car. And it gives you the feeling, well, I can speed a little bit to 40, 50.